My name is Paula R. Curtis, and I am a historian of medieval Japan. I received a Japan Foundation Japanese Studies Fellowship in 2015 as a PhD candidate at the University of Michigan, and I used my fellowship to conduct dissertation research at the University of Tokyo. I researched the history of medieval Japan with a focus on social and economic history. I'm currently working on a project that examines metal casting artisan organizations from the 12th to 16th centuries. I'm interested in how we can use objects, archaeological remains, and fragmentary written records of commoners to better understand the history of their lived experiences and how they maintained agency in relation to elite authorities like the imperial court or the warrior shogunate. Many of these organizations were a critical part of the fabric of medieval society and actively helped to shape the frameworks of governance and authority that we typically think of as defining the pre-modern world. I also researched documentary forgery in pre-modern Japan and how both elite and non-elite figures took advantage of the centrality of documentary culture in systems of bureaucracy to manipulate its influence over hierarchies of prestige and historical legacy. These questions about how everyday people asserted agency and identity in their own lives and how individuals and governing organizations take part in the shaping of historical truths and falsehoods are no less relevant today in places across the globe than they were four or even 800 years ago in Japan. My name is Ed Kamens. My title is Professor of Japanese Studies at Yale University, where I've taught since 1986, going on 34 years, uh, and I'm currently in phase retirement. I received my Japan Foundation Dissertation Research Fellowship for the fall and winter of 1980, so just exactly 40 years ago. And I spent my time in Tokyo and also living uh, with friends in the seaside town of Fujisawa. I, to this day, am extremely grateful to the Japan Foundation for providing what was at that time extraordinarily generous and flexible support for our graduate students such as myself pursuing the work that we needed to do in order to complete our doctoral studies. Today my research focuses on primarily on Japanese classical poetry. I also have written and of course teach on classical Japanese prose from the Nara period through the Edo period. I've done a lot of work in the area of text and image and image and text, dynamics and relationships. One of my current projects is a study of a 17th century calligraphy album, a tekagami. It's known as the Tekagami Jo, that's in the Beinecke Library at Yale, and it provides an opportunity to think there again about the complex relationships between visual materials and textual materials. My other current main project is actually a revision and redo of my dis doctoral dissertation, which I originally researched with funding from the Japan Foundation when I was in Japan and affiliated with Waseda University at that time, which was then and still is a center, among other things, for the study of Setsuwa literature, which was the genre uh, in which the work I studied, a collection of Buddhist tales, from the late 10th century called Samboe or Samboe Kotoba. I eventually published a book containing my translation and study of that work in 1988, and I'm currently revising it and updating it with a co-author more up to speed than I in the complexities of Buddhological studies, and this time uh, that book will be illustrated. So 40 years later, I'm actually returning to the work that I did originally as a Japan Foundation Research Fellow.